I'm Cindy Parlo Cohn, and my title is depending on who you're talking to. I'm mom, I'm wife, <laughs> I'm friend, um, but I think what you're getting at is president of U.S. soccer. I played a lot of sports growing up. Soccer, basketball, I swam, and I played softball. Soccer just always made sense to me. I just got it. I've always been about the team and building the team and finding how I can help the team, um, whether that's leading, following, trying to find new teammates. Um, and I would say that's from how I was as a player, that's how I am as a coach, and that's how I am as president of US Soccer. It was a crazy time to become president. It wasn't something I was seeking. It wasn't something that was in my five-year plan. Literally overnight, thrown into the deep end, I am now president of US Soccer. The pandemic is happening and everyone, including myself, is outraged over the very offensive legal filing. Sponsors are threatening to leave and we have no idea when we'll have revenues coming back in, when we'll play a game again. And at this time we had no CEO, no chief commercial officer. It was a very challenging time to quite literally be thrown into the deep end. My initial thoughts I think are probably pretty typical of women. I, as I became president, I was thinking about all the things that I wasn't. Like, I didn't go to an Ivy League business school. I haven't been CEO of a Fortune 500 company and I was going through everything that I wasn't. Um, and that lasted for a while, I'll admit it. <laughs> um, but then like, I took a deep breath and I, and I started thinking about, okay, just like any team I've ever been on, what do I bring to this team? What do I bring to this role? And how can I help US soccer be successful? My skill set, I thought, was really something that US soccer needed at that time. I, I was a team builder. From our fans, to our players, to our state associations and our members, how do we start changing this to really embody one nation, one team. I'm really proud of the turnaround that we've had in such a short period of time. Having been in the equal pay fight for over two decades, this was something that was on the top of my priority list. And it was definitely a roller coaster ride. We always found a way back to the table, back to communicating. The benefit of me being a former player is that the players knew me and they knew my level of integrity. I wasn't ever gonna tell them that I could do something that I couldn't do. And I think I think that went a long way just because they knew me as a person. You know, I, I counted the number of people just on the U.S. soccer side that helped push this across the line. Um, and it was over 60 people when I wrote everyone's names down, um, which, I mean, that just goes to show you um, how complex and how, uh, how many people it really takes to get something this historic done. I really don't believe that we are going to be the best that we can be until we all get on the same page and are working together. I think this will be some of my work over the next few years is try to build that trust and that realization that we can all rise up together. For me, I think it's always been about um, making the sport better than it was when I came in.